Well, very pleased today with the, the outcome of the trial, uh, that there are guilty convictions here and substantial prison sentences. Uh, we're very, very fortunate from the day that this happened that we've had a number of partnerships with other law enforcement agencies that got us to this point. I have with me the two lead investigators, Sergeant Paul DeRay and Detective Tim Fontaine. I'd like to publicly thank them for three years of immensely hard work to get us to this point. I'd also like to thank the DA's office. We had a great prosecution team that was with us immediately after this incident occurred. And of course, the New England State Police Information Network for their analytical assistance and the state trooper who provided us with additional analytic uh, assistance. This has been a long, hard road for all of the uh, people involved, but today makes it worthwhile when you see the sentences that we received. These are dangerous people and they're off the street. I do, would like to put out again, though, to the public that we are still looking for the Purple Heart that is missing in this case. It was awarded to the victim's father uh, during the Battle of Iwo Jima. If anyone has any information pertaining to the whereabouts of that, please contact us right away. And I'd like to openly issue a challenge to the two defendants in this case. If you know where it is, do the right thing. Where can people contact you if they know something about the Purple Heart? You can call us at the Lester Police Department, 508 892 7010 extension 2010 will get you right into my office or get a hold of Detective Fontaine or Sergeant Dore. Like I say, when it comes to, I don't know Mr. Lavin, but Nicholas, I pulled out of the gutter. Literally. I semi adopted him in my heart. My son was killed. I took Nicholas in. And for him to turn on me, it's depressed. It depressed me. Mm -hmm. I can handle the loss of the money. I can handle everything, except why do people do this? 